So um, you want to get rid of roaches, cockroaches, um, and this is the best way. Um, I learned this from this other guy, but he didn't go into detail. Uh, boil the eggs for about 15 minutes. Let them cool off. Peel them and take out just the, the yellow, the yolk. The easiest way to peel an egg is to let it cool off, put it in the fridge. It'll come out nice and uh, clean like this. If you do it while it's hot, that's what happens. So um, peel these eggs off, have four eggs. Use a container, it could be any container that you don't want. So now peel these off, they're peeled off, and separate the, um, the yolk from the white. And all we're gonna use is the white. Um, if you wanna eat these, you can. You haven't touched the poison yet, so you can eat those. Protein, you know, go to the gym. Get buff. All right, so the yellow is separated. Now half a cup of sugar. Put it in a container. And this is boric acid. Uh, this is not the original boric acid, it is with boric acid. It's roach killer with boric acid. If you get boric acid, it kills better, but it doesn't, I didn't couldn't find it. And so, put a half a cup of boric acid. I'm going to leave it here so it doesn't spill on the kitchen counter. Uh, just put on this a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Yeah, this stuff doesn't come out easy. Alright. Sorry, it's a little bit more than a half a cup. It's fine. Uh, wash this out. I'm going to add just a little bit of sugar. Just to even it out. There we go. So now I mix it up. Uh, this was... There we go. Mix these up. The boric acid was about three dollars from Home Depot. You can get it from any store. Any. All right. So once that's all mixed up, now to put the four four yolks, and now we can smash it. See, this is his recipe. See how it is. Make sure you don't touch this. You should have gloves. You don't want to touch this, touch anything you know, on your house. So roaches do like grease. They like uh, this is his recipe, but um, I don't understand how. I gotta eat all this. And it still looks like it's not mixing together that well because it's too dry. Um, gonna add a little bit of water. And they do like water, so let's just see. Alright, so just a little bit of water. It's a little bit too dry. It looks a little bit better this way. And it's, it makes it look like peanut butter. I mean, I thought about adding peanut butter, but I want to try this before I'll do another batch with peanut butter. All right, all mixed up. So, the most important thing is you put this out of reach of any kids, any pets, or anything like that. Um, put on top of like a microwave or something, or behind somewhere that no one can get to. 
Oh, matter of fact, I'll just put it behind the microwave. All right, no one could see it, and I'll check it in a couple of days. What you could do is put water next to it, so they can, uh, after they eat it, they'll go drink water because they'll get thirsty. And I think they would explode from the inside, but if I can guess that right. And the most important thing is you clean your surround, like make sure that you have no crumbs, anything on the floor, because they will, what they will is, they'll eat your crumbs anywhere that there's food around the house. So make sure that you are leaving the house spotless, go on a stove, um, you know, pull it backwards and, and clean it up real good. You can also set that bait behind the stove if you can. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that helped.